Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and the walls are closing in on Joe Biden. Finally, finally we have some action. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Those little things really help us out, and they help our channel continue to grow. So House Speaker Kevin McCarthy has finally indicated for the first time to his fellow Republicans in the House that the impeachment inquiry of Joe Biden will be put to the representatives in Congress this week. So there is no more waiting. He has talked about this before. There's been a lot of talk about this, obviously with all the things going on with the Biden family, all the nefarious or nefarious looking things that have gone on with what we, you know, what a lot of us believe is influence peddling. And a lot of us believe were nefarious activities when he was vice president under former president Obama you know, letting his son wield his power to try and make money. Now we finally have a, probably an impeachment inquiry. The thing I will say is, you know, it's important to keep in mind that this is not a Joe Biden exclusive thing at all. The, the business of influence peddling in Washington, D.C. has been going on for a long time. It is probably the most vibrant business in Washington, D.C. It's what they do. Um, this is what politicians do, guys. You know, I've often wondered, is every politician's kid a genius? Do they just all get into Ivy League schools because they're all just that smart? They're all just so much smarter than the rest of us. I mean, when things don't make sense to you, you should probably examine them. That's what I try to do. So this impeachment inquiry, finally getting off the ground here, is a big deal. However, you know I got to give you the however. I got to give you the caveat because I'm not one that's going to get your hopes up and then nothing happens. I'll leave that to the Republican Party. However, Kevin McCarthy did say that it was important to him that he did not act by fiat, that he did not act on his own like Nancy Pelosi did, that he would not just declare an impeachment inquiry and then just go about his business and do the impeachment inquiry. He would get the House to vote on it. Well, here's the problem with that, and he may already know this. It's a very thin House majority. He knows that. Some of those Republicans are in purple districts or even blue districts where impeaching Biden will not be popular with their base. And that may be enough to actually not have the impeachment happen. Now, McCarthy may know this already. If I know it, McCarthy knows it. And he may be thinking to himself, I don't want to do this impeachment, but I can say I put the inquiry before the Republicans and the Republicans shot it down. Now, that gives him wiggle room to say, hey, I tried. You know, make himself look like a leader and, and, and a strong man, when in reality... He took the coward's way out. That, I think, is a distinct possibility here and one we have to prepare for. The other possibility is that Republicans do what Democrats have been doing for time immemorial and actually stick together and actually do something. You know, I heard Chris Christie say today that, you know, if we impeach Biden, that cheapens impeachment. And he's seen no evidence that Biden should be impeached. And I'm like, have you looked? Because a lot of us have seen it a lot. More, there's more evidence against Biden than there was against former President Donald Trump, and they impeached him twice. So, Chris Christie, classic rhino as far as I'm concerned. And as far as cheapening impeachment, gosh, I think Nancy Pelosi already did that. Folks, I want your thoughts on this story, so please leave them in the comments. Also, please remember to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps us out. I'm Carmine Sabia. This is Explain America. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.